the most challenging part of the talk. All right, I am happy to be back here in Darsbury. Um, probably four years ago, I was planning a trip to the UK, and uh, I got a phone call out of the blue from Anash, and he, he said, you've probably never heard of me, you've probably never heard of Darsbury, but I see you have an, an empty day on your calendar, so if you could uh, take the trouble to, uh, to take the train from London up to Darsbury, I'll pick you up at the train station, and I'll book you a whole day's worth of meetings, give you an opportunity to present, and I guarantee you it'll be a worthwhile day for you. Um, I did a little bit of Googling to make sure I wasn't being led into some kind of a, of a trap or something, and uh, figured out this was a legitimate city and everything was cool, and uh, came on up, and like, uh, like he said, he made the day totally, totally worthwhile. I think we did it again another year or so after that, and uh, always, always happy to come and uh, to see all the, the cool things that are happening up here. So I really appreciate the opportunity to, to speak and all your efforts to, uh, to pull the, the group together and to uh, raise the consciousness, if you will, of uh, AWS in the, the area. So I have been at um, Amazon for coming on eight years now, and I, I, I came on board at the very, very beginning of our web services effort. I, I logged into my Amazon Associates account one day, saw this little note on the side that says, Amazon now has XML. And I've been doing some consulting with some startups in this space of XML and SOAP and so forth. And thought, that's kind of interesting. wonder what that's all about. Investigated a bit more and managed to get myself invited to a, a little developer conference that Amazon was putting on to, to kind of brief people on this new XML web service and to kind of open the, the door a little bit toward what the future might hold. Listen, and th this was in the spring of 2002. So I, I listened a bit and realized what they were really saying was they said, here, here's our first web service. We're going to give people access to our product catalog. But the longer term story is we're going to actually find all kinds of useful technology components of our own infrastructure and make those available to outside developers and create a, an actual technology platform out of Amazon.com, the retail site. So I spent some time at Microsoft and realized the, the value of a technology platform and thought, this is pretty cool. I really need to be a part of this. And uh, through, through some asking the right questions and meeting the right people, managed to get myself uh, uh, hired on to Amazon. I, I didn't actually come on board as part of the web services effort, but they said, well, it's a, it's a relatively new group, it's going to be growing, but help them out 10 or 20% of your time. Well, about two weeks in, they came to me and said, that, here's your first chance, we've, we've got an opportunity for someone to go out and speak at a conference, and none of us want to do it, so you're the new guy, so we think you're the one who has to do this. So I, I did that, and that worked out all right, and uh, they said, okay, well, here's another one and another one. And before I knew it, they said, well, you, your new job is called Web Services Evangelist, and your job is to go out and make these web services really popular. So I've been doing that now for almost eight years, and it's, it's been a lot of fun. I get to travel the world and te speak to all kinds of interesting developers and entrepreneurs and business folks and just kind of see what they're, they're up to. Uh, just late last year, I, I actually took a lot of what I learned in, in doing this, put it together in, in a book that will be published real, real soon, called Host Your Website in the Cloud, where I, I talk about cloud computing and the, how to use the different Amazon web services and put them together to, to build some, some cloud-based applications. So uh, I always like to start with a, a little bit of an introduction to what AWS is all about and what Amazon is all about. We're best known on the, the retail side, where we operate seven different retail websites in, in seven different countries. We have tens of millions of active customer accounts. And beneath this, we have a very, very strong technology platform so that we can, we can bear, the, bear the load as all those tens of millions of customers visit the site and browse and search and make purchases and, and so forth. Another important side of Amazon is our seller business, where outside organizations and, and individuals list and sell their own products on the Amazon platform. So they're, they're using that, that Amazon platform effectively to power their, their own retail website in some cases and as kind of a listing engine, a, a checkout engine, a payment engine, and so forth. And they're also able to ship uh, products to us in bulk and take advantage of our, our fulfillment centers. The, the third way that we expose our platform is with AWS, the Amazon Web Services. And this is the side that I'm associated with. So this is, is aimed at developers and IT professionals. And we're effectively offering our, the same infrastructure that powers our retail website that this at, at on an on-demand basis. So you as a consumer of this, this, uh, these services can sign up for your account, attach your credit card for payment, and then consume anywhere from nothing to, to a little bit to more and more and more to as much in the way of storage and processing and messaging 
and bandwidth as you need for your applications. Very, very scalable, very, very flexible. It's been a great business for us. We, we're, we're really encouraged by how, how well it's grown so far. We've already got hundreds of thousands of registered customers for this service. And I'll, I, I won't have time to talk about a lot of different use cases, but I'll, I'll talk about just one. And uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Ian, where, where you hide Ian? Ian is our, one of our local uh, business development folks, and he'll be happy to tell you more about uh, some more specifics of customers if we, if we have a chance. So uh, when I say cloud computing, how many folks kind of have a good idea what cloud computing is, is all about? Just about half, three quarters in. Okay, so uh, a good way to think of it is uh, think of it as your electrical or electricity service. And then I, I didn't even put this picture in on purpose, but you can actually see, see some of those smokestacks just outside the, uh, the uh, cooling towers outside <laughs> the, the window here, I've noticed. So uh, effectively, like electricity, cloud computing is, is compute power on demand. And instead of generating your own electricity, you trust outside professionals to take care of all the, the details involved in, uh, in making that happen. And they're going to do it in a much lower cost and more reliable way than if you were to generate your own electricity in, in the backyard of your house, uh, probably with more efficiency and with greater safety as well. So our, our equivalent to the, the power generation facility is AWS, the Amazon Web Services. So this is a cloud computing platform with a variety of different services inside. They're very scalable, very cost-effective, highly reliable, secure, and they're, they're, they're applicable to a business of just about any size. We have folks that literally run their business from a Starbucks, using the Wi-Fi in a Starbucks, all the way up to mid-sized organizations, to large multinational companies. Everything in between are able to look at the, the cloud and say, there's something there of value to me, whether it's the fact that it's it's low cost and reliable, and it's great for those startups because they can they can tell their customers that they're even though that their their office is at Starbucks, they can say, well, our infrastructure is powered by Amazon. And on the large end, they can say, you know, it's actually a lot of trouble to build data centers and to get racks and hardware and power and cooling and um, all those kinds of things. We prefer to actually just to have Amazon do all those things because you guys seem to know how to do it really, really well. They're happy to turn those things over to us. Sometimes it's for steady state processing, where they're just kind of moving IT operations from their data center to ours. In others, it's kind of for on-demand or spiky kind of usage. Maybe it's test and development usage. Maybe it's seasonal processing, where they have an end of month, end of year, end of week, end of day. Sometimes it's kind of uh, almost kind of random usage, where maybe they, they have no idea when they're going to get the most kind of spiky loads. <coughs> they, they just want to be prepared for heavy loads to come in and easily scale up and scale down their processing accordingly based on those loads. So when you start using these services, you're taking advantage of the fact that we've been running our, our website at scale for a very, very long time. As a company, we're, we're almost 15 years old, and so we've, we've gotten a lot of experience in operating essentially gigantic data centers at very, very low cost and with extreme reliability. So when I was actually at a, a financial services conference yesterday in, in London, and somebody asked me, they said, so, what, what above all, or below all, I guess, is, is the core competency that we're buying into when you, when you buy into AWS? And I said, really? It's our, upper, it's our ability to scale very, very easily. The fact that as we add new customers, as our existing customers grow, it, it's a very um, routine, very straightforward process for us as we look.